You know, I'll be honest, man. When I read what happened, I texted my mom. I did. Friday, October 29th. I said, hey, mom, just checking in. I hope everything is going well. Let me know if you need anything. I love you. Text my mom that day, man. Okay, let's watch Asmund's video. Endwalker delay. So yeah, uh, Endwalker got delayed. Uh, it's not really a surprise. I mean, the thing is that like whenever we were, I guess I can probably say this because now the embargo's over, but like whenever we were doing the like, so we we do the the media tour, right? They they say like five or six times that like COVID has made it really hard for them to do their work, right? Because COVID is bad in Japan apparently. So uh, it, it's not really a surprise that they had to delay it if they emphasized it that much. And really, it's not a big delay. Uh, Yoshi P cried on stream. This this is, gosh, the first time, and, and not just with 14, but just throughout my entire career that we had announced a release date and had to delay it. So again, I, I feel really bad about this. It's just it it makes weeks. you feel really bad. Uh, whenever you plan to do something just two and weeks. like everybody's really <laughs> looking forward to something and you have to go on in front of like, you know, hundreds of thousands of fans and then disappoint them, especially whenever for him, right? It's like he doesn't just like make the game. He plays the game all the time. This game's like his life. So like he's going to probably take this really personally and I can understand that. Uh, it fucking sucks, man. And it's just like you have things that are in your control, right? You have like, okay, your deadlines and timing, etc. It's just two weeks, but it's still a fuck up and it still fucks over people. But it also helps people too. The people that weren't able to take that time off now probably can. But in the end, I don't know why that they wanted to release it November 23rd when they just should have released it a week or two later. So, And then you have things that are outside of your control, like you know, uh, things that are happening in the company that are outside of his, uh, you know, his jurisdiction, basically. And then you have like COVID and you have, uh, you know, just other things that happen that are uh, existential, right? And it's never always one person's fault. And it just sucks that it happened. But yeah, it's not that big of a delay. It's a couple weeks. Mage Tower. Yeah. So Basically, Blizzard, uh, people think Blizzard planned a release for the Mage Tower to, like, compete with Final Fantasy and Walker. Uh, I don't really think that's what it was. Like, I, I, I just, I think that's probably just, like, kind of the timing. What's Mage Tower? Five-year-old content, Palace of the Dead solo, it's cringe, Boja, good solo WoW content. Five-year-old content, okay, 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 okay. Of things, that's why I get the context. Because the so. truth is that, like, no, I, I just, I don't think that's what it was. I think that honestly, they just decided to bring it out at that time. It's yeah, it's Christmas season. It, it, obviously, they're just trying to get people to play the game again. It's great. Now, but five obviously, years the old. Mage Tower right. and everything about it is really cool. Like I'm gonna do it, and you know, it'll be fun. But the truth is that like, <laughs> when is this supposed to come out? December seventh. It was scheduled to Endwalker release date. Oh, they tried to dot. <laughs> Okay, they tried to dodge SC, but then Yoshi was like, nah, dog. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. If you okay. were going to play uh, Endwalker, right. like yeah. how many people do you think were like, oh, man. Okay. God damn. Let's go. Woo. Woo. I was going to play Endwalker. But I just heard that Blizzard is re-releasing five-year-old content again. Oh my god, never mind. Plans canceled. No. Nobody's doing that. Uh, I think that the entire <laughs> idea of it is ridiculous. I was going to play Endwalker, but I just heard that Blizzard is re-releasing five-year-old content again. Oh my god, never mind. Plans canceled. No, <laughs> nobody's doing that. Uh, I think that the entire idea of it is ridiculous. But um, uh, yeah, I think everybody that was going to play Endwalker was already going to play it regardless. Um, obviously, delays suck, and having to delay a game is bad. And uh, it's also understandable. I think that most people, most uh, most game consumers, have pretty much the same opinion that I do, which is I don't like game delays. But the only thing that I like less than game delays is bad games. Like, that's the one thing that I really, really don't like. Because I yeah. don't want to have a bad game. And the truth is, like, there's so much... 
there's so many eyes on mm. Final Fantasy 14 right now. There are yeah. so many people that are going to compare this release to the release of a Warcraft expansion. Uh, they're going to compare this release to... Uh, they got to get this shit right, which is why I want to bring up the point again, the stability issues. When Stormblood came out, they like hired streamers, like, you know, really big streamers to play and they couldn't even get past Rabon and they were pissed and they memed on Square Enix. They don't want this to happen again. The game has never been more hype than it is right now. They have to get this right. They cannot fuck this up. They can't. Uh, everything else. So I, I think... It, it's so important for them to get Endwalker right because the stakes are so high. People's expectations are so high. Everybody wants to see the game in like the perfect state possible. Mm -hmm. And because of that, is two weeks really going to help? Yeah, I think so. Uh, I think you can do a lot in two weeks. Like I could clean up probably my whole house in two weeks. Uh, they can clean up a few quests. And the odds are, like, they're not going to be changing. It's not like, like, oh, man, two weeks. Like, didn't they make Molten Core in, like, a week? Which is, like, only two days. One guy did. Honestly, I'm surprised it took that long. But, like, I mean, really, what I'm saying is, like, you can do a lot in that period of time if you have people that know how to that know how to do their job. The, the truth is that, like, everybody's expectations for Endwalker are so high. There's never been more pressure on Final Fantasy as a uh, Final Fantasy 14 because everybody is going to compare this release of Final Fantasy 14 to the WoW release. So, like, if this release is not, um, is not Poggers... People are going to be like, oh, well, see, I told you guys it was just hype. Final Fantasy isn't really that good, you know, and this is going to be. I think this release is going to be absolutely fucking amazing. This release is going to be a combination of Froge Pog, Pog Slide, Coggers, and Poggers. Be the perspective that a lot of people are going to have. So it, it's very, very important for them to have this release go off without a hitch Sorry for the and debate. to have it be as Sorry. perfect as possible. And it's the same thing really with Elven Ring Sorry. because I know Elven Ring got delayed until February at some point and it's the same issue, right? Is that... Yo, Elven Ring looks pretty good. I might play that, dude. The expectations for a FromSoft game are so high that... They One, cannot two, three, afford for me, to please. bring out anything. It's like you have to beat your last success, you know? But uh, either way, uh, the expectations for this this release are just so high. No, it's not that The one. expectations for Endwalker are so high. The expectations for mm -hmm. Elden Ring are so high. And because they're so high, these developers have to make sure that the game is as perfect as possible. Mm -hmm. And in doing that they do sometimes have to delay the game because here's what happens is like you can have a game like cyberpunk for example Ooh. cyberpunk releases with a lot of bugs now i'm going to assume that cyberpunk fixed most of those bugs no i'm not saying that it's perfect okay i'm not saying that what i am saying is that it's a lot better than what it originally was and because it's a lot better than what it originally was and yes it is still buggy it is whatever right yeah whatever is that people will always look at it for what it was on day one. Yeah. And that's exactly... Okay, those of you that actually played Cyberpunk, do you think that it would have been such a joke if it would have came out like three months later? Like, how long did it take them to actually fix the bugs? My question to you, because I never played it, are the bugs more forgivable in its current state than when it was first released? Do you think it would have been shit on as much if it would have been released, like, let's say now versus when it was, it wouldn't have been right. Yeah. 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 I'm not saying it, it wouldn't be shit, but I'm saying it would be less shit, right? Yeah, yeah. It would be like way less shit. People would have way less issues with it. It would happen with BFA. I talked to somebody at Blizzard. Blizzard said that they fixed more bugs at the beginning of BFA and they did more fixes at the beginning there than they had for any other expansion, but people still call it beta for Azeroth. Why is that? Beta it's because first impressions are the most important thing. And if you miss that first impression... Dude, you know what? I gotta tell you, man. Dude, he said first impressions are the most important thing. He's right, but let me tell you, and this is something that I have struggled with my entire life. I make 
horrible first impressions. Not even Nova liked me. When she first heard of me, heard about me, heard like of the content and stuff, she didn't even like me. I make horrible first impressions. I'm like a quest bar. I'm horrible when you first bite into it. I, you know, I taste like chalk. I taste horrible. But then after you have like maybe two or three and you're like, wow, these macros are pretty good. Now I'm starting to get used to the taste. Wow, this is pretty tasty actually, especially with my water. I'm eating such a nice snack. Excluding the gassy part. That's what people fucking remember. So you cannot let that happen. <laughs> and uh, No Man's Sky, though, yeah, exactly. We're but just people, a bad, like, bald you, person, and so far I've A been lot right. of people, if you talk to them about <laughs> No Man's Sky, even now they're going to probably say it's buggy, and they're going to say that the same problems that they fixed are still in the game that were in the game on release because that's what they remember it as. New World is going to have the same fucking problem. And, and I, I, I swear, this is what's going to happen. New World is going to have the same fucking problem a year from now whenever New World finally fixes the gold duping and invincibility glitches for permanently. They're probably still going to be talking about them. Uh, this New World fucked up so bad that it will never be able to be disassociated with, oh, remember that fucking shit-ass game that you could gold dupe and make an invisib or invincibility glitch? Yeah, it will never escape that. This is probably still going to happen, and so this is what's going to. This is what it's going to be. Fallout seventy six. Yeah, there are a million examples of this, and the point. The point that I'm making here is that oh, also killing you have graphics cards. A release too. that goes bad, right? Let's just say this: a, a badly uh, received release. This is something that haunts a game for its entire lifespan. And uh, well, you guys are bringing up 1.0, but here's the thing: 1.0 is a completely different game than 2.0. The only similarity with like 1.0 and 2.0 is the actual name, Final Fantasy 14. It's not really the same. Let's say the Bahamut visited New World, and Bahamut shit all over New World, and then they came out with Newer World. You know, well, Newer World, if it follows the 14 path, then it's a completely different game. The new world. When people think of Final Fantasy XIV, most people don't even think about 1.0. I did play during 1.0, but a, a vast majority of people don't even associate it with 1.0. And the reason why is because it's so different. The people that are going to think about 1.0, it's not going to be very many. The only people that are, are going to be the people that probably played 1.0 because of how much better the game got. So I don't know. I just don't think it's a fair comparison. They just can't have that happen. So it's not a surprise that, uh, that they delayed the game. Uh, I think that obviously for some people, especially whenever you have people that take time off to, do, uh, uh, to play the game, it, it sucks, right? Whenever you have, you know, you have your job and you, you plan to take a week off to play the game or whatever, and, and now it's getting delayed, that sucks, man. And uh, that same thing happened with New World. The same thing happened, I think, with Shadowlands too. But the truth is that... Um, I don't think that those people should direct the uh, direction of the game, right? Uh, ultimately, it's the developer's fault for not releasing it whenever they said they would. But I, I think that if they have to push it back, they have to push it back. Yeah. Imagine Ian crying. Uh, the thing is with the with the the WoW team, right? And like this is, uh, it, it's just. Like, I could see J. Allen Brack crying. I mean, definitely I could see him crying. I mean, he'd have to wear, like, five pins before he did it. But, you know, he would cry on stream, definitely. And uh, no, he'd, cry. <laughs> he'd cry in court. <laughs> yeah, oh, man. Yeah. Cry crying in court, dude? <laughs> That's true. Like, 9.1.5, like, we played it a bit. And uh, I've been playing a little bit of WoW. It's just, uh, they've got to really rethink the game from the ground up. And Let me ask you guys a question. You think it's possible for WoW to recover from this? Because me personally, unless they change the actual devs and the mentality of the group, I don't think so. I think the only way they can do it is if they change, like, the core team. We'll see, though. I'm pretty sure that no game has done what Final Fantasy has done by start off at the bottom and go to the top. I'm pretty sure. Final Fantasy is like extremely they, uh, Like 9.2 is really what's going to tell me whether they've kind of changed their mindset of the game or not. Uh, is the Internet Historian video the one that... Hold on, what is it? 
Uh, I, I love WoW. I'll always love WoW. An hour. And I'll still play it and everything like that because I've got a lot of memories Is attached it? to it. And I just okay. care about the game. You guys want to watch it? But I've never um, seen it. Uh, it. It could just be so much better, man. I think that's the truth. It could just be so much fucking better. And, and that's what the sad thing is about it. And, like, you have, like, you know, like, the censorship and, and all that stuff. Like, I mean, who cares? Like, that's stupid. Yeah, it's stupid. And, like, I guarantee you guys, you guys, we are going to see these developers' personal political uh mindsets and uh, visions being re reflected in the game. I, I guarantee you we're going to have points in the story that are going to caricaturize something that they politically like or dislike. And I, I, can, I can guarantee you this is going to happen. Uh, clip it. Uh, clip it and ship it. You know, virtue clip signaling, etc. It. This is going to be very, very popular now and wow. And yes, I, I, I really, really don't like that. Clipped and However, shit, strummer. This does not really make me stop playing the game a whole lot. Like, if the game sucks, that's why I'm going to stop playing it. And uh, the gameplay and everything like that is what really matters. And I was doing Sylvanas on Heroic. Oh my god. Is it possible to have negative fun? I think Final Fantasy rating uh, has been more enjoyable for me in some ways, and in other ways I like rating in WoW. Like I like the uh, in WoW. One thing I like about rating in WoW is the fact that you can change and like do things differently, right? It's like you the the amount of ways that you can play your character are so much bigger in World of Warcraft than Final Fantasy, I believe, because you just have so many different ways that you can do different things in the game right like you can uh like gear differently you can use different trinkets you can just like do all kinds of crazy shit in, in the game yeah garen, now, this is not necessarily a good thing or a bad thing or whatever this okay garen 14 has always been super boring but my question here is that is garen and wow any better because i feel like wow just suffers the same thing that every other mmo does and it just has an illusion of choice i feel like that there's always going to be a meta and i feel like that if you don't do that meta there's no reason to not do the meta so yes you have all these options technically but basically you're walking down a path and there's a fork in the road. Okay, so on the left path, it's a spiky death trap. But, you know, there is technically a way through. In the middle path, there's a prairie and sunflowers. And, you know, it's a bright sun. You know, the sun from the Teletubbies. You know, that's there. And it's a free path. The path on the right is literally just a path full of, like, spiky dildos. Obviously, you're going to choose the path in the middle, right? Because it's the best. You can go the other paths, but they're going to be worse. But they all lead to the same place. That's the hospital with the copium tubes. Nope, dildo road. I would imagine that is just illusion of choice, right? To be honest, you can choose, but the community won't invite you. I know there's different specs, but when you go warrior DPS, there's like one best way to play it, right? When you play warrior tank, there's one best way to play it, right? Yeah, so the illusion of choice. The cookie cutter builds are way better. Yeah, so my question is, why would you ever play anything other than a cookie cutter build? For fun. <laughs> you don't have fun in games. What are you talking about? This is just the way that the game works. Rich proved himself doing tea. Yeah, I, I saw Rich cleared it. That's good for him. I'm happy for him. Uh, I, I, I want to do yeah. it event. He wanted to say, but congrats. So hard there. Do you see him? You see him, dude? Or a bad thing or whatever. You see him, dude? The way that yeah, the saw him clear Rich proved himself it. doing tea. Yeah, I, I saw Rich cleared it. That's good for him. I'm happy for him. Uh, I, I, I want to do it eventually. Like, I'm not going to do it until after Endwalker. But uh, I will do I, I will do all tea and all the other uh, raids and everything. I think it'll be fun. Yeah, I'll, I'll come back for Quad Wedge. And, uh, I, I would love to actually try to get, like, the world first ultimate, you know? Like, what would it be like to try to go and... Is it King Thordan, right? Uh, for Thordan? The like, I would try to do it, man. But I'd have to have, like, a group of just fucking absolute legend. I'd have to have, like, me <laughs> and seven doms, you know? And we'd be fine. Seven I've doms, a lot about Final dude. Fantasy I've been playing Family. Before, and Let's I look go. forward to going back and, and playing it more. Let's go. I've held myself back from playing it a whole lot because I've... Uh, I've been off stream, and I do plan on whenever I come back, I want to go through and do 
the entire MSQ. I'm going to do all of it. And hopefully by then I'll have like all the Beast Tribe mounts and everything like that. And uh, I really do want to play the game all the way through. It's like I don't really know. I miss I his 14 streams too. I'll be back. He would always but, like, be on when I would wake up. I just have to do, as I said, I'd have so up. many loose ends. So point is that I, I want to get but, whenever I, mean, I get I understand. back. Right? I want to get into doing the MSQ. I, I figure like I'm you know, just going to get it, put on a blanket know. and get some hot cocoa and just cozy up. And we're going to play through the MSQ, have a good time, enjoy it, uh, play Elden Ring. Maybe, hopefully, by then, New World will be good. Play some of the new content there. Uh, we got probably 9.2 will come out. We got that. Uh, I've got all the Endwalker content. I want to do Savage and Endwalker, get my character geared up. Maybe do, like, the Deep Dungeon by the time that gets released in Endwalker. Uh, then, like, let's see what else. Oh, Lost Ark. Like, oh my god, man. I've got so Isn't much. Isn't Lost Ark pay to win? Like, I, I, I'm excited. I really am. Like, this is the, uh, this is the new golden age of MMOs, man. Yeah, I saw Max very... tweeted that out the other day. He's right. Not at all. Dude, like, the he's chat. so right. Like, I've been playing the games all the time. Dude, dude, the chat is so, is so torn on that. People have said it is, but people say it's not. It's pay to win for the first week of new content. Just don't be poor, Keck W.